Longtime fans of my Big Fat American Gypsy Wedding, MBF AGW, finally remember its first spin-off show, Gypsy Sisters, which chronicled the haphazard lives of the Stanleys and their extended family members. With a total of 32 episodes over four seasons, Gypsy Sisters premiered in February 2013 and allowed viewers to witness how Romaniacal women lived. Negative think pieces, bad publicity, and a horrifying animal cruelty case linked to a main cast member forced the show to an end, although the official excuse given was low ratings. For the majority, Gypsy Sisters was their go-to guilty pleasure show. For Romaniacal people, the Stanleys were imposters who were playing up to harmful stereotypes. Today, we'll discover the truth about Gypsy Sisters. The star of Gypsy Sisters was Nettie Stanley, a West Virginia native born in July 1974 and mother of nine children. With her bleach blonde locks and signature spray tan, she was TV's most glamorous mother hen with a strong personality to match. Nettie, who was known for wearing pajamas outdoors and getting into bust-ups during family events, was the rock of the clan and supported her three younger sisters and 12 grandchildren throughout their numerous rough patches in life. When her stepson Rocky tragically died of stab wounds when leaving a basketball game, Nettie stepped away from the world of reality TV and made all her social media accounts private. Nettie's younger sisters are Dovey, Melly, and Joanne. In the show's third season, the matriarch and her husband, Huey Stanley, renewed their wedding vows to celebrate their 10th anniversary. Despite Nettie's strong and feisty personality, she was also a responsible individual and helped her mother, Lottie May, raise the rest of her numerous brood. Lottie May's criminal activities raised a few eyebrows amongst the viewers of Gypsy Sisters. The great-grandmother was convicted of bank fraud in the early 2000s and sentenced to nine years in prison a few years later from a separate offense, namely removing her son and grandson from foster care. She was arrested in a Madison Heights hotel along with her husband. Thankfully, she's been a model citizen since completing her sentence. Chastity, Destiny, Huey Jr., Albert, Heath, Sheila, and Dallas. They were born to three fathers, one of them being Huey. Media sources claim that she has up to 20 grandchildren, eight more than when the show first aired. Nettie is highly involved in their upbringing and prides herself on putting family first. Next up is Melly Stanley, the youngest sister and self-described black sheep of the clan. Her children, Richard Joel, Brandy Wine Lavinia, Divinity Rose, and Serenity Fay, were born within seven years and all had different fathers. The public was shocked to learn that Melly became pregnant with Richard Joel after drinking too much. In fact, the West Virginia native wasn't sure if going ahead with the pregnancy was the right decision. As it happens, Melly and Richard Joel's father divorced less than a week after tying the knot, and the former TV star isn't believed to be on good terms with any of her children's fathers. After giving birth to Serenity Fay, rambunctious Melly seems to have calmed down slightly and is allegedly taking precautions to avoid further unplanned pregnancies. Before giving birth to Richard Joel, Melly was a nightclub stripper. She hoped that the arrival of her first son would help her mature and grow as an individual. Nevertheless, she still indulged in numerous vices and wasn't adverse to drinking, cursing, and fighting both on and off screen. Shortly after the cancellation of Gypsy Sisters, Melly and her then husband were convicted of a coupon fraud scam and she was sentenced to five years on probation in 2019. One of the conditions was that she pass her general education development test. Melly will hopefully be off probation in 2024. Joanne Wells, who was introduced to the audience as an aspiring nurse with a gentle and unassuming personality, was also arrested for coupon scamming in the early 2010s. She was sentenced to reimburse Target almost $15,000 in 2014 and was also placed on supervised probation for two years. To carry out her elaborate scheme, Joanne befriended a Target cashier and successfully scammed the supermarket out of $14,000 before being busted. One of the main storylines in season three was the acrimonious divorce of Joanne and her partner at the time, Belcher. Despite a brief reconciliation, the differences between them were too great and they soon parted ways again. 
Joanne and Melly's love lives were startlingly similar, although Joanne at least avoided having children with just about every man with whom she was involved. As of 2022, Joanne is believed to be in a serious relationship, but with an anonymous man. She's shown no desire to return to reality TV and has either deleted her social media profiles or made them private. She and Belcher share two children who are being kept out of the spotlight for now. Dovey Carter is the fourth Stanley sister and family mediator. The most enigmatic sibling, she was a minor character on the show, only appearing a few times in its last season. The dark-haired beauty keeps her private life under wraps, so much so that there's no available information regarding her relationship status or possible children. Annie Malone and Kayla Williams are two siblings who were extended family members of the Stanleys. Annie was no stranger to reality TV and made her small screen debut in an episode of MBF AGW in which she and her first cousin James tied the knot. The short-lived marriage ended for unknown reasons and James moved on and formed a family with Dallas, Nettie's daughter and Annie's cousin. A rather unsavory character in 2017, Annie was charged with several felonies, amongst them exploitation of an elderly person. Meanwhile, the marriage between Kayla Williams and Richard lasted almost 20 years. Her next two weddings and divorces happened in quick succession. Although Richard took his time in moving on, he already shared two sons with James's sister, Danielle Malone. Viewers found it understandably challenging to keep up with the vast Stanley Malone Williams family tree, as almost everyone is related by either marriage or blood. These days, Kayla's five children, Richard, Danielle, Lexi, George, and Sissy, are all grown and starting their own families. Meanwhile, Kayla is an aspiring lifestyle influencer who uploads cooking and beauty videos on her YouTube channel. She's also helping to raise her various grandchildren when not busy providing content for her thousands of subscribers. Kayla and Annie had one brother named Gus, whose wife was Laura Johnston. The couple shared three daughters named Bailey, Haley, and Savannah. Laura rarely appeared on the show, but was seen at a few family functions. Reliable sources confirm that she and Gus are still together. Another minor character is Sheena Small, who further complicated the family trees by sharing four children with Henry Stanley, who happened to be Nettie and Melly's brother, and her first cousin, Shania and Frankie. The couple made sparse appearances in the show and weren't given any of their own storylines. Next up is Dallas Nicole Williams, one of Nettie's eldest children and a mother of six, who also had an unfortunate love life, being married at least twice. Her children were named London, Richard, Demi, Aaron, Huey, and Archie, and were born to different fathers who were rarely mentioned in Gypsy Sisters. As mentioned earlier, her ex-partner James Malone married Annie, Dallas's cousin, but Dallas somehow overlooked that relationship and took him back in late 2016, which didn't sit well with Annie at all. Instead of going back to Annie when he and Dallas broke up yet again, James moved on and probably wisely looked for love outside the family. Nettie, Nookie Williams, is the last cast member and was vilified even more than Melly Stanley for her poor mothering skills. Sparking controversy after ditching her partner Pookie and their son to see the world with her drug-addicted boyfriend, Nettie was somehow convinced to return to her family when Pookie and his wife at the time found her and brought her back to West Virginia. Two months later, Pookie divorced his then wife and went back to Nettie. They would have two daughters together named Delilah Lee and Ivory to complete their dysfunctional family unit. For a time, dwindling ratings and negative publicity were cited as the reasons for the cancellation of Gypsy Sisters. However, the true motive was far more sinister. In July 2015, Melly Stanley and her then-husband, Randall Scott Von Cannon, were embroiled in a sickening animal cruelty case, the details of which were so gruesome that advertisers decided to stop sponsoring the reality series. The network, realizing that the show would be far less profitable without sponsors, unceremoniously canceled Gypsy Sisters and moved on to presumably bigger and better things. Reports may vary, but the official story is that Melly and Randall were arguing over rent, 
when he suddenly picked up the TV star's small pet dog and threw her across the kitchen with such force as to kill her instantly. After being alerted, police officers found Millie, bruised and barely able to move in the street outside her home, which she and her children shared with Randall. He was promptly arrested and hit with a felony animal cruelty charge. Since then, he's faded into obscurity and hasn't been heard of or seen in years. There was a resounding lack of sympathy towards Millie in the aftermath of the scandal, as her parenting skills were questioned and criticized, especially the fact that she'd married a violent individual and allowed him to live with her minor children after a relatively brief period of courting. It remains unclear whether Melly wishes to return to TV or not, but in any case, no self-respecting network has agreed to give her or her sisters a platform since Gypsy Sisters was canned. Although the popularity of Gypsy shows has plummeted around the world, they were all the rage in the mid-2010s and have spawned quite a few pseudo-celebrities. The most well-known reality series in the niche genre is obviously MBF AGW, which premiered on TLC in early 2012. However, MBF AGW was plagued by controversies for years, leading to its cancellation in 2016. Although we can generally assume that much of reality TV is carefully planned out and part scripted before the cameras start rolling, it turns out that the show in question was so fake that many of the weddings weren't even legal. Priscilla Kelly, who participated in the show's first season, blew the lid off the sensational story in a since-deleted Facebook post, which was quoted by various news outlets. According to Priscilla, the show's producers were so interested in pushing narratives that they hired actors and faked many of the weddings. Priscilla said, Basically, producers told me if I would just get married, it didn't matter who it was with. It didn't have to be legal, just so they had something to put on TV. I'm so ashamed that I even did the show. Producers are offering people to marry but without even paperwork, just to have something to put on the show, Priscilla added. Given that her post was shared thousands of times and made headlines, fans of the show began asking other participants to post their marriage licenses as proof. Priscilla also lambasted the show's producers for their inaccurate depiction of Romani culture. Things get even worse, however, as Priscilla claimed that many participants weren't travelers or even Romani. One commenter claimed that she had been contacted by the show's production team, despite being Italian and having nothing to do with the ethnic group this series was supposedly focused on. Many traditions, such as the annual Gypsy Ball that was discussed and depicted on the show, were also made up for the sake of entertainment. We could discuss Priscilla's claims all day. Apparently, she was also told to say she lived in a trailer, despite it being untrue. But some netizens think that the integrity of the Romani and Traveler people who would willingly participate in such an outrageously fabricated show must also be questioned. As it happens, there's no possibility of MBF AGW returning to the screen, and similar shows have been canceled after just a few seasons. For now, it remains to be seen whether Gypsy shows will have their big comeback and relive their glory days, but probably not. Thank you for spending some time with us. Make sure to like and subscribe so you never miss another video. We also handpick these videos, which we recommend you watch next. You can talk to us on all social medias or ask a question in the comments below. Thank you for being with us and we'll see you back tomorrow.